it's Fitzley at actoutgames.com here, and today I'm going to be opening the February at Spangler Science Club kit, and I got a sneak peek of this one. So when I got a sneak peek at Spangler Science, I thought that this thing was all about chemistry, which is one of my favorite things. So I'm really, really excited to see what experiments are inside. So let's open it up. There we go. The guide for me. The guide that's not for me. Put that over there. And Papery stuff. That's my favorite experiment is to do with papery stuff. No. Uh, ooh, this is a really, wow, really big test tube. That's an extremely big test tube. The cups. Ooh. Glasses. Yes, they're called the green glasses because they're green. Ammonia. This <laughs> is Oh. Purple Paradox powder. Purple Paradox. I really like the Purple Paradox. Uh, test tube with a spoon thingy inside of it. Activator solution Purple Paradox. Te squishy droppy. Dropper. Dropper! It's not a squishy droppy thing. I call it a squishy droppy thing, I guess. Thino... 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 I can't pronounce that. And these and fake white roses. Ooh, stab! <laughs> Don't stab yourself. Ooh, like your Stingley Science Club kit? Check out more science toys. Yep, stingley.science.com. Yeah, go there, always. So I'm gonna take a look at what experiment. I'm gonna lay everything out and take a look at what experiments are inside the book. And I'll pick a couple to do to show you guys. So we're going to start with one of the really, really cool first experiments in the book, which is actually an acid-base reaction, so it's a lot like the Wekapax. So this is like science magic, which is one of my favorite things that they do with this tea spangler stuff, is they make it science magic, and so I'm going to do the experiment, and then I'm going to show you how it works. I have these three clear fluids, and watch what happens when I mix them together. Ooh. Oh, that was weird. It turned this light pinky magenta. So now when I pour it in this cup, watch what happened. It goes back to clear. It's magical. <laughs> Not really, it's science. This is a really cool reaction with phenothaline and phenothaline turns pink when it touches a base. So in this cup is ammonia, which is a base, and water mixed together. And in this cup is phenothaline. So when I mix the base and phenothaline, it turns pink. And it and phenothaline goes clear when it touches acid. And then here is vinegar, which is an acid. So when I pour it into the acid, it becomes acidic again and it goes clear. So what's happening here is phenothaline is a weak acid and it has some hydrogens to give up. So when you put it in a base, the base is lots of OHs that want those hydrogens. So it takes the hydrogens and what's left over is pink. So that's why it turns pink. And then when you put it in acid, there's already a lot of H's around, so it doesn't get to give up any of its H's. So it just stays clear. So that's basically what's happening here, pun intended. So this is one of my and Steve Spangler's favorite chemistry demonstrations. It's called the Purple Paradox. It is absolutely amazing. So I have this clear solution here and watch what happens when I give it a shake. <clears throat> Ta-da! This is so cool. So it turns a purpley dark blue from a sort of cleary solution to a purpley dark blue, which is really cool. So watch what happens. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. It goes back to clear and watch what happens if I shake again. <laughs> back to the purple. <laughs> How cool is that? It's absolutely amazing and it is definitely one of my favorite chemistry demonstrations. 
So I poured some of the solution from the big test tube into the small test tube. So now I'll what happens when I shake the smaller test tube. Nothing happens. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna shake it harder. Shake it again. There's water flying everywhere. There's the solution is not water, it's shooting everywhere. And if I shake the big test tube, it turns the purple. <laughs> so I'm not gonna tell you how this really works on this video. You have to get the kit to find out why this one stays clear and this one turns purple. I'll give you a hint though. We filled the little test tube all the way to the tip top, even some overflowed a little bit. So that's your hint. You'll have to get the kit to find out why it happens. So not too long ago, I did this in my school and I saw the reaction and how cool it was, but we didn't really get into why it was happening that much. So it's really cool that Steve Spangler gets really into explaining the chemistry. So we know the chemistry and we also get to do the cool science experiment. Another awesome kit from these two Spangler Science Kits. Of course, we only did a few of the experiments on camera. There's a ton more of that come with these. Like always, it's filled with make your own hypothesis and how important it is to let the kids do the experiments, which I really like because, well, I like to do the experiments. <laughs> so that's why I like having the kids do all the experiments instead of watching someone do the experiments and doing nothing yourself. So it's really awesome about that. And if the past few months, and this, include, and this month, haven't come convinced you to buy these kits, then I have no idea what's wrong with you. These are absolutely amazing. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! It's time to press the subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. A subscribe button. Bye, 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 bye.